Hello Virgo, welcome to your reading. This is going to be a general love message. We're going to see how your person's thinking and feeling, their next actions towards you, their intentions, and the potential outcome. So just remember the energy is fluid and the roles could be reversed and only take what resonates. Whenever you find this reading is the right time for you. If you felt drawn to watch it, then Spirit has a message for you. I do apologize, Virgo. I know the readings are coming out very late. I've just been managing a lot of personal responsibilities. But I am grateful for your patience, so thank you. Let's get right into this. Guardian Angels, higher beings, send a message. Please protect me in my light life as I do this reading for Virgo. Show me clear and honest messages for Virgo. <clears throat> okay, let's see. Spirit, how does this person feel about Virgo? How does this person feel about Virgo? Okay, so right away we have the Ace of Pentacles here. I feel like there's, there could be an Earth sign, another Earth sign that you're dealing with, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, that wants to offer you something here. It's going to feel like it just came out of nowhere as well. Um, it's definitely something solid though. I feel like this person values stability. Um, so it's a lot of getting to know you. It's a lot of conversation, a lot of talking. Yeah, we have the page of cups here. Interesting. This person could be younger than you, or they could just have like a very youthful energy here, but they definitely want to offer you something here. Um, the page of cups can be an apology. So we'll see if this is an apology from someone in your past here and maybe for what, um, but definitely this person wants something solid here. And it's like a fresh new beginning is what I'm getting. So the Page of Cups. Tell me more about the Page of Cups, please, Spirit. Tell me more about the Page of Cups. The King of Swords. Tell me more. The Sun and Justice. You could be dealing with a Libra or a Leo. Um, okay, so I definitely feel like th there's someone here who wants to have a conversation with you. Um, about something that was said and I feel like it was something that was said and misunderstood um, I feel like it threw everything off balance here there was something that some sort of conversation that just it, it went left real quick is what I'm getting um, I feel like this person wants to have a conversation with you to let you know how much they care about you and how much you actually mean to them with that sun energy here I feel like they maybe they didn't even tell you this there was just something that they said, I'm getting, that made you feel like, does this person even care? Does this person even know how I'm feeling or what I'm going through or what have you? And I feel like this person wants to have a conversation here with you. Um, yeah. Interesting. Okay. Tell me more about the Ace of Pentacles here, please, Spirit. Tell me more about the Ace of Pentacles. The Six of Wands, the Eight of Pentacles, and the Chariot. You could be dealing with a Cancer here. It's like this person wants to work on this here with you. They want to offer you something solid here. They want f movement forward here with you. They want victory here with you. They see that with you. I feel like they want to come out on top with you, but they know it's going to take work. You know, they, they know it's going to take effort to put into this connection, to put into this. Um, they know it's going to take energy, but they're willing to do it. I feel like um, there there could have been a period a period of stagnation where you didn't even feel like you knew where this person stood with you or where they wanted to go. And I feel like this person is wanting to have a conversation with you and let you know this is this is how I want to take it. And I feel like the way they want to take it is to have victory here with you. Um, yeah, they could have been indecisive before it could have made you feel like they they weren't making a choice, which is making a choice, right? Like not making a choice is is making a choice and I feel like this person doesn't want to do that anymore so let's see this person's actions in the next two to four weeks could be a little less could be a little more what actions will this person take oh right away we got the eight of swords tell me more spirit the devil okay so right away this person overthinks you could be dealing with a Capricorn this person overthinks they're stuck in their own head. I feel like they, it's like analysis paralysis. They analyze, analyze, analyze the situation so much to the point that they don't move. Um, 
I feel like that's what was going on before, that they, they weren't making a decision, which again was a decision in a way. And I feel like that's still lingering here. I feel like this is a deep rooted issue. I'm, I'm hearing abandonment issues. I don't know, we'll see if that comes out. But I feel like there's something about this person not wanting to um, make a move because they're fearful of being abandoned, fearful of being rejected here. This is a deep rooted issue with that devil energy. You know, the devil energy is something that we all we all experience and we all go through, right? It's whatever it, it holds us back. It's whatever, it, it could be fear. In this case, it looks like it's a mindset of, you know, overthinking. Um, it's just something to overcome, right? It, it, it's not a part of us. It's something that we experience. It's part of life, right? There's ebb and flow. We have the, we have the sun here and the devil here. It's like the way this person feels about you is so happy. You're, you're their joy. You're their happiness. But they're also battling with this um, overthinking, this being stuck in their head here. Um, I'm seeing the judgment card, like wanting another chance here. So... Just tell me more, Spirit, about this person's actions. Well, tell me more about the devil. You guys know when the devil's on the board, I always like to extra clarify and understand more and more. Tell me more about the devil. Okay, the Queen of Cups. Okay. So I feel like this person could, this person struggles with their emotions. They struggle with offering love. They also struggle with receiving love. Um, I feel like they put a wall up and as a result, I feel like they're inconsistent. They come off as a player and they, they, they honestly, they could, they could have engaged in player like, you know, behavior where they're inconsistent and they breadcrumb and they ghost, you know, because I feel like it's like, as soon as they get too close, they back off as soon as, as soon as they're in it and they start to feel they're like, wait a second. And they, and they retreat and they pull back. And again, I'm hearing abandonment issues. This could go back to childhood here. So I feel like this person, um, they struggle with their emotions here. And uh, quite honestly, like with this magician energy as well, I feel like this person can be quite manipulative. They, ha they can have the tendency to um, say and do like not okay things. <laughs> and I feel like that's what the, the apology is for. They want to have a conversation because they like it went left real quick. It's like this person knows what you bring to the table, Virgo, and they see how happy you make them. But, but they struggle with their emotions here and they struggle with, with um, giving and receiving love. This is not a you thing, right? I, I know you probably know that already, but I just feel like I needed to say that. This is not a you thing. This is a them thing, right? Like this is, th these are issues that, like I said, deep rooted issues, I feel that go back way before your connection was even, you know, um, a thing. But it, it looks like this person is still in the same energy. So if you knew this person to be inconsistent, to breadcrumb, to ghost, to, to not get too close, to not offer um, deep emotions. And, and, and when you did retreat and, and run away, it's like as soon as you would tell them that you love them, for instance, they would fucking ghost. Sorry, I just swore. Like, I'm like, that's how I feel. That's how I feel. I feel like this person is like, it's just like, like again, like that's what I'm getting. Um, yeah, so it looks like they're kind of in the same energy here, Virgo. And I feel like messages like this from Spirit are almost like a heads up, right? Because it looks like this person wants to apologize. They want to have a conversation. But then if they're still stuck in this deep-rooted same energy, it's like this is not the type of energy that goes away after a week. This is not the type of energy that it's like, oh, I you know, I read a book or I, re I listened to a podcast. I'm good now. It's like this is consistent daily work at it. And it's like unless that person wants to do that... It, which it doesn't look like it, it's the same energy, but we're going to see their intentions and the potential outcome, but just be aware, Virgo. I feel like that's, that's what these kind of readings are like. It's just, just be aware. Um, they said, pull one more on the devil. Tell me more, one more about the devil, please, spirit. The page of ones and the six of pentacles. It's like the, this, this person is very flirty. This person, you know, I, again, I, I feel like they could be younger or they're just, they could just be immature and um, they know how to how to be charming, but they put their energy into the wrong things here. That's what I'm getting. I feel like they they put too much energy into their negative thinking, their overthinking, right? And it's not easy to come out of. When you feel bound to your own thoughts like this, it's like a mental prison, right? It's like it, it's consistent work that you have to work at. It's like undoing programming from so long. Um, yeah, it just looks like this person is going to be flirty, like they're going to, you know, uh, be very charming, but they're still going to be inconsistent. 
they're not going to give the same energy that that you want that i feel like you're wanting from them but let's see their intentions what's this person's intentions with virgo please spirit the emperor could be dealing with an aries tell me more spirit about this person's yeah it's just like it's very charming energy it's very um I'm the boss. I'm going to do things my way. Like this, it's, it's so interesting because I feel like this energy is like, they're very, they come off as very confident. They come off as very, they got all their shit together, but really on the inside, like they're, they're actually quite insecure and they suffer and they're actually like fearful of being abandoned. I feel like there, there could be a mother figure in their life that could have abandoned them. It doesn't have to be their actual mom. It could have been like an aunt or a grandma. And when I say abandoned, it doesn't have to mean physically abandoned. It could have just meant like they were raised in an environment where emotional support was not given. And so, you know, opening up and being vulnerable emotionally is like a no-no for them because they're like, no, like anytime I did that as a kid or growing up, I was shut down or I was told be quiet or I was told don't cry, you know? Um, so yeah, I just feel like this person, um, they come off as very confident. They come off as, they're very charming. They're very good looking. They're very, you know, um, come off as very confident, but I feel like on the inside, that's not actually what's going on here. So it looks like their intention is to just kind of keep putting up this front. And I'm, I'm saying that on purpose. I feel like it is a front. Um, yeah, let's keep going. Tell me more about this person's intentions. The queen of pentacles the eight of wands yeah it's like this you're gonna get a lot of passionate messages from this person i feel like um there it is the nine of the nine of swords it's like that this person wants stability here with you virgo i feel like you offer stability for them i feel like you do i feel like you're very much in your feminine energy and we all have masculine and feminine energy so even if you're a male virgo watching this it's applicable you're very nurturing you're very um caring you're very giving this queen of pentacles but then this person it's like you see this person like the, this king is not even looking at their queen it's like they don't even acknowledge right like the the uh it, they, they're not even acknowledging like what you you're bringing to the table it's like they know it and they feel it but they don't say it and then you just get like a lot of passionate messages here a lot of like you know <laughs> sexting i'm hearing you know but the, but at the end of the day i feel like this person is still quite anxious we got the eight and the nine of swords here it's like this person overthinks they're in their head they they're up at night like you know i, I feel like they they know that something's off they know that they need to change something but they feel bound to it they feel stuck with that devil energy. Huh. So let's see the potential outcome. What's the potential outcome? Please, spirit. The two of cups. Wow. Tell me more, spirit. What the potential outcome? The queen of wands and the high priestess. You could be dealing with a Pisces here. It's like, okay what i'm getting this could be a karmic soulmate here this could be someone that you feel absolutely drawn to like magnetic pull towards and this person is here i feel to teach you lessons your intuition here is being called to to come to the forefront use your intuition you know um your body for instance gives you messages is your intuition if you feel like this person lies or or something's off and then your body you start getting a headache or a stomach ache or what have you like that's your body physically telling you something is off i feel like um there's a lot of physical attraction here between the two of you i feel like there's a lot of um chemistry between the two of you a lot of passion but there's not a lot of emotions here like there's literally no cups on the board there's the queen of cups and it was clarified by the uh, it clarified the devil right? Like I feel like there's, there's not a lot of emotion here. There could be a lot of physical connection here, a lot of passion, a lot of lust, but I feel like spirit is saying, you know, that's going to, th that could continue. You got the queen of wands here and the, and the king of wands is their intention to come together in this physical way. And there's a lot of passionate messages here. You know, I feel like you're drawn to this person just as much as they're drawn to you. But, but that high priestess card is asking you to like sit back and observe, like watch this for what it is you know, um, see people where they're at, 
take their actions for what they are. Don't try to interpret them and say, okay, well, maybe they meant this. Or maybe if someone's continually ghosting you, continually, um, you know, being physical with you and then leaving and, and, and not being emotional with you, um, take it for what it is, you know, because like I said, this is deep rooted issues. You're, you're, you're not here to fix this person. I don't know who needed to hear that, but this is, this is deep rooted. This is, you can't fix other people. You can only work on yourself. Right. And I don't feel like this person is in the energy yet where they want to work on themselves just yet. I feel like they really enjoy the physical intimacy that they have with you. I feel like there, there is happiness here, but I feel like this person really struggles with their emotions. So Virgo, just, you know, use your discernment, use your intuition. The high priestess observes, watches, you know, goes, goes with their gut, knows, knows, uh, things without knowing how they know. Tell, oh. I was just about to say, tell me more about the high priestess and the moon popped out more Pisces energy here. It's like, if you feel like there's secrets, if you feel like there's, there's, deception here if you're not getting the whole truths here use your intuition i feel like that's what's going on here i i i'm feeling a karmic soulmate here that's what i'm getting and it, you know a karmic soulmate is someone who again soulmates are people that i believe in multiple soulmates right soulmates themselves are people who you are drawn to it feels familiar with it just feels easy it's effortless you can't understand why you feel so like a magnetic pull towards this person it's because your souls already know each other before you came to the 3d you were in the 5d the spiritual realm and you decided okay you know in order to evolve in this way we're going to meet each other on earth and blank is going to happen and sometimes it's not always you know a, a happy ending sometimes it's okay you're going to teach me about self-love you're going to teach me about boundaries you're going to teach me about tuning into my intuition and in order for me to learn that you're going to do some pretty nasty things to me in this world it's like it, it seems crazy it seems like why would i ever want that to happen to me but it's all about soul evolution that's what it is. It's all about growth. It's all about understanding. It's all about learning. It's all about coming back to love, self-love, love for others, right? I'm feeling very passionate about this message and it doesn't surprise me because there's so many wands on the board, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius energy, heavy on the Aries. Um, but it, it, that's, yeah. And the Leo actually. Um, yeah. It's just, there's a lot of passion here yeah i can feel it so we have leo we have cancer we have libra we have capricorn we have aries you know we have pisces there is a little bit of air gemini libra aquarius but you know if you don't hear the zodiac signs don't don't mean it's not your person if this if this is everything that you're you feel like you know about this person it doesn't mean it's not for you just because you don't hear their zodiac sign after all we all have a sun sign a moon sign a rising sign a venus sign you know like unless you know this person's whole birth chart it, it's hard to say whether or not their zodiac sign is here, but don't get too caught up in that because it's just it's energy, right? It's different energy. When I when I'm getting a really passionate message, I know that's a lot of fire energy, right? When I'm feeling super emotional during readings, that's a lot of water energy. When I'm feeling quite logical, that's the air energy, right? Like it's when I'm feeling very grounded and stable, it's the earth energy. So it's just it's energy. I know it can be hard to wrap your head around, but anyway feeling very passionate. Thank you for coming to my TED talk. <laughs> so let's see, let's get some, um, uh, clarifiers here. All my decks are listed down below. Spirit, what messages do you have for Virgo here, please? We got mask, hiding true feelings, pretending and delude, gaslight and personify. This is what I was saying. I feel like this person doesn't really say what's really going on emotionally. I honestly feel like they've shut off their emotions and I know that's not it sounds weird to say because we're human and we really can't I just like this person's been doing it for so long it's just like part of who they are now like to not be emotionally available any other messages for Virgo here thank you we got grounding stability and security performance growth and endurance it's so interesting because performance is just really standing out for me in this card um yeah any other messages for Virgo thank you cut down cutting out separation stop the pattern silent treatment so this doesn't necessarily have to be someone from your past here virgo like if this is someone brand new you know just realize that this there could be a lot of passion a lot of lust here but that just realize that the, like if this if you feel like this reading fit for them they're still in this energy of like 
there's still healing to do basically. And I mean, we all have healing to do at different levels, but you know what I mean? We got sunglasses, watching, looking, perception, stalking. Interesting. We got backstabbing, heartbreak and pain, separation and loss, deception and lies, shocking attack. Any other messages for Virgo, please, Spirit? Thank you. We got paradise, happiness and joy, playfulness, enjoying each other, honeymoon phase. Like, I, I, I again, there is happiness here. I just feel like it's, uh, it's not sustained. It's not long term, if that makes sense. I feel like it's fleeting. I feel like there's just a lot of passion here. There's a lot of, um, yeah, physical passion here. Coffee cup, meeting and talking, savoring the moment, feeling elevated, building friendship. Okay. We got the runner, fear of intimacy, running away, intensity and letting go, turmoil and fleeting. Yeah, that's what I was picking up for sure. And then we got hammer, sabotage and rebuild, persistent, working on it, repairing. That's what I was saying. Like at the beginning, it's like this person knows there's a lot of work to go into this. Just understand like where they're at. Do you know what I mean? Like it's, it's honestly, it's your call, Virgo. If you feel like you can work through it with this person and you want to be there, um, then by all means, we got the chaser, fear of abandonment, chasing codependencies. Interesting. Cause we have both of the twin flame, um, uh, components here. I honestly feel like this person has fear of intimacy and they also have fear of abandonment. Interesting. We got teddy bear interested in you, blooming romance, flirting, want to date. Mm-hmm. We got wedding rings, union and marriage, soul connection, everlasting love, devotion. Soul connection is really, really standing out for me here, Virgo. We got the golden mirror, narcissist, love bombing, self-absorbed, one-sided. Yeah. Okay, so let's get some messages here. I'm starting to feel really lightheaded, so I don't know if... Um, <laughs> if someone's smoking something nice i don't know it's just i'm picking up on that right now but anyway uh spirit what messages do you have for virgo here Whoa. i couldn't let you get close to me that's what i'm saying i feel like this person like as soon as it starts to get real they push away you were the best thing in my life unfortunate you know because like you could have offered everything to them and it it could feel like oh it wasn't enough it wasn't about it wasn't about it not being enough it was about this person not having done the healing just yet you know and look at that as soon as i said that it's time for me to heal now i want to feel that way again you came closer than anyone any other messages here spirit thank you I feel you leaving me behind. I feel like there's one more. Sometimes I stay awake thinking about you. Just being near you is intoxicating. There's that passion, that love. Sorry, that uh, lust is what I meant to say. Okay, let's see. Spirit, what messages do you have for Virgo here, please? You and your loved ones are safe. Step out of your comfort zone. Thank you, spirit. Don't let pride get in your way. New moon in Leo. Okay, let's see. What else do we have here? Spirit, what messages do you have for Virgo, please? Remain positive. Not the right time. Okay. Be assertive. 
You know, I never read from this book. I shouldn't say never. I rarely read from this book, but Spirit's calling me to read this not the right time. I feel like there's something in here that someone needs to hear. This is not the right time presently for what you're inquiring about. The answer is not a no, just a not yet. Have patience. Your angels will give you a sign when the timing is perfect. Okay. So let's see. Spirit, what messages do you have for Virgo here, please? Thank you. We got message in a bottle, number 15. You could be seeing ones or fives or even uh, sixes. So let's see. Let's read message in a bottle. You can expect someone to favor you with positive news. This could be in the form of a letter, phone call, or email. You are the intended receiver of this message, so stay open to what you learn. Only good will come of it in the end. The signs are all there. I definitely feel like this person wants to reach out and say something. And I'm what I'm like like I was saying, I feel like I'm getting like that this person's here to teach you something. There's a contract here where you both decided, okay, and you're teaching them too. It's not just a one way thing. Right? I just feel like this person struggles with their emotions and I feel like um you could be the catalyst even Virgo to like them opening up more eventually is what I'm getting. It's just not the right time just now. So let's see. Okay. So these could be initials of you, this person, numbers you've been seeing, birth dates, um, you know, license plates, postal codes, what have you. But if something here doesn't resonate with you, it does not mean it's not your reading. So we got G, A, N, G, K, and X. Okay, so I do hope something here resonated with you, Virgo. If it did, please let me know in the comments down below. Please like, share, subscribe if you feel drawn. Thank you so much for all of your beautiful energy. Love and light.